Excellent, great. I don't want to get started before, I know we thank the members that were here. I see a lot of parents and quite a few legislators out in the crowd who I know are friends of ours, so thank you very much, folks. That's great. All right, I want to welcome you again, and this is really, really great. We knew you were in the classroom and on the job for the earlier rally, doing what you're supposed to be doing. But your coming here this afternoon is a tribute to your dedication, your professionalism, and your deep understanding of the impact that we have when we all stand together. Thank you, each and every one of you, for all you do each and every day. In the 40 plus years that I've been working in education, I've seen difficult fights over education in the legislature. It takes a lot, though, to surprise me. It takes a lot to worry me. It takes a whole lot to frighten me. Since Speaker O'Brien took on his new job in January, I have been consistently surprised, worried, and scared. And yesterday we clearly saw that it is with good reason. Members of the House majority have introduced bills to remove art, music, and health education, technology, and world languages from the state's curriculum, and to eliminate the state's funding of education, of kindergarten, education in kindergarten. With all the successes New Hampshire students have in every arena, these efforts surprised me. Bills still under consideration in the House include measures that would abolish the Department of Education and another that would make it impossible to charge parents with neglect when they fail to provide any opportunity for education. These bills have me worried and they should you as well. However, it is the legislation that the House has passed that really frightens me. Three of the bills that the House will be sending to the Senate and to Governor Lynch for consideration are particularly scary. House Bill 429. This bill would repeal Governor Lynch's popular and common sense increase of the state's dropout age passed in 2008. It would allow students to stop their educational careers at 16. The House passed this bill on March 15th, just after it was announced that our dropout rate was below 1%. House Bill 542. This bill would effectively make compulsory K-12 public education a thing of the past. This bill would make truancy laws unenforceable and allow parents to pull their children out of school for any reason. This would turn the clock back on New Hampshire public education to 1871. The House also passed this bill on March 15th by a vote of 197 to 148. Members and friends, are you listening? Really, beware the Ives of March. CACR 12. This measure would amend the New Hampshire Constitution to remove the state's responsibility for the education of children in New Hampshire. This measure would downshift all education costs to local school boards, funding crucial programs for preparing our students for the 21st century, like foreign languages and technology, would become a local option. The House passed this measure on March 16th. 